What is your property? Something that you have, Aaron? Your own rights, your own freedom, and your own life. Hmm. Now, own. This is a powerful word, right? That means ownership. So that means that these things we say called rights, freedom, life, they belong to us. <laughs> and what do we know what those things are, though? Rights, freedom, and life. These are separate topics. Life, hopefully, uh, self-explanatory, your ability to live, right? Uh, but what about rights and freedom? These are topics that go hotly contested in today's world. For sure. And uh, we can start with rights, you know, your own rights. They belong to you. Um, and it's right It's right in the word. And oftentimes, you know, um, since we use in school or in, you know, a lot of the education system or when someone has an answer correct or in alignment with truth, the answer is right. So behavior, uh, you know, is either in alignment with truth or it is not. And we will get into behavior that is not in alignment in truth uh, later. But essentially, your rights are any action that does not harm someone else, i.e. it is in alignment with truth and it is correct or right. Hmm. So we're using right in two senses. One to say that is correct and another to say that it's moral. Not a lot of people may do that. And we can probably go deeper into what a right is then, and maybe just the different perspectives of it. Um, so let's look at freedom, right? Because this can also be perceived many different ways. Um, some people might look at it internally and externally, right? Like, am I ha do I have freedom within myself, my own mind, perhaps? Or mm -hmm. do I have freedom within myself to the point where I'm confused? I don't know who I am. Um, and I'm not in control of myself. Now, maybe this ties into the whole idea of slavery. And so if you own freedom, however, that means perhaps you have the right to freedom or your life is bound to freedom or your rights are bound to your life. Your life is bound to your rights, etc. These three forms of property. Freedom allows you to live your life, does it not? Without freedom, what are you? You don't without freedom. Do you have any property, whether it be this hairbrush <laughs> This phone? I don't know. Do I own that? How did I get that? Through labor, perhaps? Through freedom mm -hmm. to achieve that? To obtain currency? To say that currency is my own? So that's property? That is property. And like you said, uh, it's an internal state of being. It's free dominion within yourself. And you, can't ha you cannot have freedom externally in the freedom of your behavior if you are not free internally and you are, have free dominion within yourself. Hmm. So in the next video, uh, we can talk about what is not your property. So stay tuned for that and be sure to watch it and uh, learn about what maybe you do not own and something that you do not have the right or the freedom or the life to take or own or use.